Welcome to another screencast. This particular one that I'm recording right now is in regards to drama. The drama that we watched in Film Club, as I said in one of my other screencasts, was a fantasy drama. But the drama genre covers all hosts of subgenres. Action and adventure would be a type of drama. There are epic types of, types of drama that could be historical or mystery dramas. There are horror dramas that we won't be watching or covering in our film club at a middle school. But the drama genre in film is pretty expansive and a lot of things follow within that particular category. Dramas in general are a serious presentation within film. There are topics that may be less whimsical, although there are some satirical dramas, but that's not typically the first thing that comes to your mind when you're thinking about making a drama film. Another aspect of drama is that they usually detail someone's life or the life of several people. Or if they are historical drama, it may be about the life of people during that period of time in which the drama is being detailed. There's always a conflict within a drama. The character themselves could have a conflict or be in conflict with other people around them in the film. And sometimes, too, you may be in conflict with a force of nature. The example that the students in film club brought up was a movie that was made in the 90s called Twister. And in that particular drama, there were these storm chasers who were always in the path of tornadoes, and they were studying tornadoes. So that was the central conflict in that particular film. The nice thing about a drama is I think all of the topics within them are relatable. You'll see every aspect of human life within a drama. We had a really great example that was commercially available on YouTube for dramas that we watched in our club. And since then, unfortunately, it's been taken down and marked as private. It, it was excellent. It went over epic dramas and realistic and historical dramas, as well as dramas that were about fictional characters. It's too bad that that one's not available anymore. But I do have one that's slightly comparable that I'll be going through when I show all the video links that we've used to study films in our club. So thank you again for tuning in. I appreciate you reviewing what we've been doing in Film Club at Merrill Middle School.